It's no surprise that most people view the decade of their childhood as the most memorable when it comes to their Christmas experience. And the 1970s were no different. The 1970s was certainly a transitioning decade that saw Christmas become bigger and bigger. Although kids were still circling the Christmas catalogs each year, they were also now watching more commercials for the hottest toys of the season. Their favorite TV shows were filled with advertisements that helped every kid fill out their Christmas list. During this time, shopping malls were becoming the place to go for all of your holiday shopping needs. Although some shopping still occurred along Main Street, the sheer size and variety of stores were making malls more desirable. Families were still, however, stopping by the downtown department stores to see the Christmas window displays that would entice the window shoppers to come inside. The 1970s also had its fair share of great Christmas music. Perhaps no holiday album was quite as beloved as the Carpenter's Christmas Portrait, filled with the classics, but it also included Karen Carpenter's sweet-sounding Merry Christmas Darling. Later in the decade, the comedy song Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer would become a fun departure from the standard lineup of Christmas music. Television specials and movies were still highly anticipated during the 70s. Rankin and Bass productions continued into the decade with the release of Santa Claus is Coming to Town and The Year Without Santa Claus. The musical movie Scrooge, starring Albert Finney, was another popular Christmas favorite that came out of the 70s. And who could forget the heartwarming TV movie The Homecoming, which introduced us to the Walton family. Toy companies seriously stepped up their game in the 1970s, producing some truly iconic toys throughout the decade and revolutionizing the industry. From Stretch Armstrong to Pet Rocks to new electronic games like Simon, Speak and Spell, and of course, Pong, the first home video game system that connected to your TV. In 1975, Atari partnered with Sears and released Pong under the Sears Telegames label. The $100 game system was Sears' best-selling item during the 1975 Christmas season. Later, the Atari 2600 would expand on the success of Pong and usher in the era of the video game system with changeable games. Television and movies were a big influence on the best-selling toys of the Christmas season. At the time, there were none bigger than Star Wars and action figures from the Six Million Dollar Man. The telescopic eye on Steve Austin made it a favorite for kids who loved the television series. To capture all of the memories of the 1970s, many families began to take snapshots on a new Kodak pocket camera. These cameras were small and easy to use, and it made taking photos a part of the Christmas tradition, especially on Christmas morning. The Eastman Kodak Company would use television stars to pitch the new cameras, which were essentially toys for the adults.
Christmas in the 1970s was pretty great. The magic of Christmas morning and not believing your eyes at what you found under the tree were some of the best feelings a kid could have. If you have your own memories or traditions of Christmas, I would love for you to share them in the comments. Please enjoy this remaining photo album from the past of Christmas during the 1970s.